So one of the uh, common uh, requests for uh, content creators is to know how much engagement there is going on with their content. So whether you create a presentation, you present it, or you embed a piece of content such as an infographic onto a website, or, or you share it with others, you want to know how much time people are spending with it. So Visme has a pretty powerful analytics tool, and I'm going to show you how that works. Um, here's a piece of content that, this is an infographic that was um, in our, is actually actively in the Visual Learning Center in the Visme blog. And so this is about can I use this picture and it's a kind of an engaging infographic and when you scroll down there's actually two slides to it. You work your way down and you can actually click and go to a secondary slide that's more of a survey as far as a fair use checklist. So VisMe is able to detect the amount of time spent on each slide uh, or each page and it is also able to um, collect granular data. So here's how it works. The, I go to my dashboard and I will uh, locate that project so I can search for it or in this case I just um, scroll down and on the bottom left I go in and click on analytics and so when I click on the analytics feature it is going to basically load uh, the analytics on that specific uh, project in this case the infographic so I can of course preview and edit it from here but I'm, what I'm really looking for is the uh, details so at a glance it tells me that over the last seven days so here's the actual filtering I can look at by today yesterday and I can even do custom filtering just like you would let's say do in Google Analytics um, but it also gives me the total number of viewers in a given time from the various sources and it also tells me the views and the average time that is spent so this is a pretty engaged piece of content there's over 33 minutes spent on this infographic uh, and then also the activity, uh, on average, people are viewing 80% of the content in this, um, in this graphic. And uh, there's been over 524 of the 652 that have done completed views approximately. So when I scroll down, it tells me the infographic view. So this is a chart, and I can actually scroll down. And of course, the blue line gives me the views, and the viewers is a little bit less than the views because some viewers view the piece of content more than once. So I could go date by date and see that on uh, September 14th, there was this many viewers. Um, additionally, I can go further down and scroll into the viewed slides. So the slide or page in this case is a two-page infographic, therefore it's two slides, that's just the terminology we use. And I can see that the slide one is the most engagement, obviously that is the first slide, um, it has the most content, and so this is um, a pretty uh, lengthy amount of time on average that is spent. Uh, and then of course, then there is the second page or slide, and it shows an engagement on that. Now you could have many different slides, and it would do the same thing. I'll show you an example of a presentation because the concept is the same. Now that's a bird's eye view. The other thing you can do is get a, a detailed granular view by viewers. So when I go by viewers, um, we can tell you that the date that the content was viewed, the IP address, um, and also we can go down to select, uh, to detect the state and the country that is viewed by. So this is from Alabama. Um, and the total time spent was uh, 12 seconds. And this is embedded because it is embedded to a site, so it can tell me that that was the view. You can actually come down here, see this was a public view, so this is when you directly view the piece. If the, you were to share the URL of the project with someone or um, email to someone, that is the way that it would be, and this was 21 seconds. But you can see there's a lot of engagement minute. Um, some of them are going into longer periods, one hour, 18 minutes. Uh, but also the cool thing is that it tells you by device. So by device, I can see that these are all desktops, and there was a, a mobile view here from Switzerland and uh, Serbia. There was a desktop view, so you can actually scroll down and get a very granular view of the the content itself. And of course, the the concept is the same when you do uh, presentations too. So let's just as a quick example here. Um, this is not a published one. It's just basically as a, um, a quick view of the engagement. So here's um, and, and for a presentation that's been created right now. It's an actual ebook we're going to be publishing. And you can see that on this one um, there is the views and uh, because it's internal there isn't a lot of traffic to it yet. But then what I want to show you is the slides. So this one has a certain number of slides and on these slides you can actually see the amount of engagement that is going on uh, between those um, slides. So you can see that this, this one, slide 23, got a lot of the uh, engagement. 
So there you have it. That's the analytics tool in Visme, and it really allows you to uh, measure and um, understand the engagement, and it allows you to decide on what um, make make decisions as far as what content or what slide or what uh, piece of information is getting the most views, and you can concentrate that and make edits to it to make it more engaging further. Uh, thank you.